19% of Australians have nothing in emergency savings whatsoever. 30% of Australians have less than $1,000 in emergency savings and 20% of Australians have less than $500. Leaving Finder's personal finance spokeswoman Kate Brown to state in a latest article. Despite everything that's happened over the past year, one in five people still don't have an emergency safety net at all. The working population of Australia is a whopping 12.5 million people. Even if 10% of them don't have a dime in emergency savings, that leaves 1 million 67 thousand people without a dime to fall back on. Studies have shown that it's 19% of people without emergency savings. How is this even possible? Ask yourself, do I have money left over after all my bills are paid? Can I save that money? I'm willing to bet you can. Don't become a statistic. Here is what a million people looks like. An emergency fund keeps you going if your income dries up. You're going to need three to six months worth of expenses. I've done a little bit of research so you don't have to. What a typical Australian emergency fund is going to look like. Check out these numbers. How do you work out your number? How long can you live off your savings? Here, I'll give you a cheat code. What's your total? How close are you to a six months emergency fund? Let me know in the comments. Have you ever heard of the saying, if you can't afford travel insurance, you can't afford to travel? It's similar with your personal finances. If you cannot afford an emergency fund on the lifestyle that you're living, you simply can't afford that lifestyle. It is important to get an emergency fund in place. Have a deep think about your finances. That desired number of a six months emergency fund that you've hopefully written down, what is it? Does it have to be that high? What do I mean? Ask yourself, can you rent a cheaper apartment? Can you rent out a spare room? If you've got a mortgage, can you lower down the payments by refinancing? Remember, a $50 weekly savings is $1,300 you don't need in a six month emergency fund. Five things you can do to save up for an emergency fund. One, cutting eating out. The average Australian spends $52 a week eating out. That adds up to a whopping 2.7K a year. Buy in bulk. For example, eggs. If you get a dozen eggs, it's gonna cost this much for the value. If you get a tray of 30 eggs, it's gonna cost this much for the value. Three, coffee. Coffee typically starts at $4 a cup drinking out. If you're having a coffee each day, five days a week, that's $20. Did you know making coffee at home is crazy cheap and you still get the same buzz? Four, buy more work. Is there anything you can do to get an extra shift at work? Or is there anything you can do to start working nights? Five, cutting down on designer clothes. If you've got a $2,000 bag, yet nothing in an emergency savings, you got a problem. Just kidding, sort of. Once you've saved up an emergency fund, make sure to keep it somewhere you can access quickly. A savings account, not the stock market, savings account. So you can grab it in an emergency, three or six months. If you've got casual employment or you're self-employed, Six months is the way to go. If you have a full-time job where you've got other benefits and that you might be able to work from home, probably three months is okay. Won't you feel better having an emergency fund?